and is Welcome to the first African country to gain its independence. The only country in the world that speaks Chui as its main language. With almost 99% of the people speaking Chui, it must be really hard moving as a foreigner in a new country. But with these few phrases in Chui, communicating as a foreigner in Ghana won't be really hard. Learn the greetings, which is Machi is good morning, Maha is good afternoon, and Majo is good evening. So these three for the day. So you should know this. You should know how to carry yourself around. Like accent, like I'm going to buy something. Or I want to buy this. So for example, if you want to buy water, so you say, meaning I'm buying water. So let's say you buy the water and you want to say thank you. So medase. So you've been giving the water and you say medase means thank you. The local currency used in Ghana is cities, whereas five cities is equivalent to one dollar. Accra being its capital city and also the largest city, moving around ain't really easy. But with the help of taxis and the local transport, also known as trotro, things move easily. Ghana jollof, Ghana jollof. Like you can't come to Ghana without eating Ghana jollof. Ghanaian food is prepared with so much love. Like our mothers really put so much time and effort to cook healthy food that is balanced so we are not lacking nutritionally. And also Ghanaian food has so much flavor and like it's rare to find a Ghanaian food that doesn't even go with meat or something like that. All Ghanaian food has carbohydrate and protein that kind of like balances out like everything you need so like basically it's the love you put into making it and the flavor that i think that's what we can do without forgetting accommodation in ghana there are so many choices from hotels to private homes where as a decent hotel can be around 150 ghana cities and a great airbnb for three guests around 30 dollars Don't forget that Ghana is not just Accra. There are so many places from the Western region, Central region, Northern region, and the Volta region. I got a chance to visit the Central region where I saw the history of slavery, places where the slaves were kept, tortured, and sold. Places like the Elmina Castle and the Cape Coast Castle. Just a quick tip remember that rainy season in Ghana starts from March to late November. One thing that you'll notice as a foreigner in Ghana is the amount of churches in the country. Specifically Accra, there are so many adverts on the roadsides of different kind of churches. This video wouldn't be possible without the amazing help of NAVPI. I'm from Ghana. Hope I was able to give you a glimpse of what Ghana can offer. There is so much more that you'll experience in the gateway of Africa. Mm -hmm.